Okay, I'm fucking sick of this Fat King's diet. Well, judging by your previous videos, Jim Mathers, if, uh, apparently you are ectomorphic body type, which means you have a naturally high um, metabolism and you will never see a day where you're fat no matter what you do. The worst that can happen is you can get a belly, maybe a bigger ass. That is about it. So it's that one that doesn't apply to you. So, yeah. Why are we even ranting about this to begin with? You fucking card counting assholes really need to stop. Okay, for certain body types like mesomorphic and endomorphic, maybe they need to count their carbs as well as their cal calories, as well as their calories from fat, the fat intake, the protein intake, the sugars and sodium intake. Maybe that's required for them to lose weight. Haven't you thought about that, foamy or Jim Mathers? All I hear out of everyone's mouth is, oh, I can't eat that. It has carbs. Yeah. Well, you know what? You need carbs. If you don't have carbs, your brain rots and your liver gets damaged. Nice. You're thin and have some weird-ass mental disease and a bad liver. Okay, here's the thing about carbohydrates. Diet containing optimum level of carbohydrates may prevent body fat accumulation. Starts and sugars provide really accessible fuel for physical performance. The main function of carbohydrates is to provide energy, but they also play an important role in construction of body organs and nerve cells, the, de the definition of a person's biological identity, such as their blood group. Carbohydrates have less calories weight for weight than fat, which is beneficial. Carbohydrates are usually found in starches. So it has nothing to do with the brains and the liver. The only thing your liver's, liver's going to rot is if you're drinking too much beer or anything uh, that pollutes your liver and your body in general. Do your research, Jim Mathers. Oh, and about your stop eating sign right there. Here's the problem with that. With ectomorphs, all you have to do is starve yourself and you're just going to get skinnier because of your high metabolisms. That does not work well for mesomorphs and especially endomorphs because all it's going to do is slow down our already sluggish metabolisms even more and it's going to make our weight loss even more difficult and all it does is it, it breaks off um, muscle tissues to supply us with uh, food to keep us alive and when we eat our next meal it stores that meal as fat as an emergency. That is how those body types work. Also if you would have done your research you would know that. Yep, the battery is worth it. I'm also sick of this fucking exchange program where you minus the fiber grams from the fat grams and the carb grams to determine what the carb ratio is in your food. Fuck that. When I pick up a food, I'm not going to start doing addition and subtraction to see if it's a fucking meal I can eat. You pretty much just said that, oh, look at me, I'm young and skinny and I'm too cool to fucking do any math for my own health because I don't give a shit. I'm just like the rest of the young people who fucking binge drink and smoke ciggies and all this bullshit. Get real, man. Get real. If you got, like I said, it, yeah, I cannot stress this enough. If you want to validate your points, do your research. How about just minusing some fucking food from your everyday eating binges, you fat bastards? Okay, I'm gonna uh, so somewhat sympathize with fat people on this one because I agree. Okay, indulgence in food is not a healthy thing, and it should not be an act. But, when you've previously been taught one way, like I was, my culture encouraged indulgence of food, especially tasty food, i.e. Louisiana, because that's where I came from. I was no overweight, I was heavy set. then when I tried to cut everything out, stop eating, grab salads, do exercise like I did, I couldn't do it. You know when it finally worked? When I actually took nutrition classes, paid attention, took the notes, and applied the knowledge. That's how I did it. Stop looking to some dead man for a quick fix diet and just eat like a sensible human being. What the fuck does it mean to eat like a sensible human being? Please define that because not every culture thinks the same way of eating. Like I said before, my culture encouraged food indulgence and they believe that you can eat whatever the fuck you want, however much you want, but you just work it off with some exercise. Yeah, these fools don't understand that if it was that easy, all the southern guys would be freaking extremely cut and there'd be no fat bitches in Louisiana. Bible-thumping idiots. You never see any fat squirrels, do you? Why? 
because we exercise by jumping from tree to tree and only eat nuts. And the occasional bagel. What the fuck are you talking about? Stop being so concerned about your image and just be yourself. If you're a fat bastard, fine. Be a fat bastard. If you're an anorexic jackass with a thyroid problem. You need to shut the fuck up. Obviously, Jim Mathers, you do not know what you are talking about. Are you even listening to yourself in this video? I mean, seriously, you really, really sound like you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And pretty much, if you said you were not willing to do math to count, you know, the carbs in which you would sh should be counting calories, so and sodium grams, sugar grams, protein grams, and all that shit as well. So obviously, you're pretty much saying I can do whatever I want. It don't affect me because I'm super skinny and I will never get fat because I'm ectomorphic. And you fat ass meso endos, you guys are hopeless. If you're a fat, you better be happy. So you better just accept it while my skinny ass just makes fun of fat people and parades like I'm the greatest fucking thing in the world because praise your lord, phony the squirrel. You retarded ass, ectomorphic, egotistical, lazy ass, animating son of a bitch. You really need to do your research and you need to understand that, yes, there is an effective way to lose weight and you could be happier as a, as a much sexier than a person. Can they be as skinny as possibly you, as easily as you? No, because they we're not genetically designed like that. You know, only certain Americans are, and certain people around the world, too. So you need to understand that, yes, they can be skinny again, maybe not as skinny as you, because your body type is designed differently from the others, but at the same time, stop acting like you don't know what the fuck to do. You, because pretty much that's what you sound like. That you don't know what to say, you don't know what to do, you don't know how to help, you don't know how to do a freaking rant properly. So next time for me, and I'm, this is the last time I'm going to say it, do your research. This has been Metallic Serpent, and time to slither on out.